All right, hey guys, welcome to my channel again. In this channel, we talk about construction, self-improvement stuff, and travel, of course. But today, I do want to talk about the eight careers that you can take when you study construction management. And, you know, it's very different from what people think. But let's get right into it. Let's go. Oh, I look great. All right, guys, so the first career that you can pursue once you graduate with the construction management degree is, of course, being a project engineer. And what does a project engineer do? You can actually look at this video right here. That I talked about a day in the life as a construction project engineer. So just to give you a little bit of a background, as a project engineer, your job is to assist the project manager, the superintendent on site. Your job is to draft RFIs, submittals, and manage the as built and the documents. A lot of times, project managers would delegate tasks to project engineers to either go out in the site or to do the paperwork. Now I want to talk about the salary, like how much does a project engineer actually make? So if you start off as a project engineer right out of school, you would probably be making around 55 to 60 uh, depending on where you are so if you are in like a suburban place for example Arizona you would probably start off at $58,000 a year but if you were to work in New York or San Francisco then I would say probably around 62, 63 and also depends on which company you go to some companies pay more, some companies pay less and I do want to talk about your career progression as a project engineer. So a lot of times you start off as a PE and then you become an assistant PM and then you become a project manager. And after working as a project manager for a number of years, you will become a project executive and then director of project operations, something like that. You know, some really cool fancy title. So that's the first one. The second is you can be a BIM engineer. All right. I know in this channel, we talked a lot about BIM. And that's actually how I got started in the industry. I was working as a BIM engineer for Katera and did that for almost a year and a half before I left. But it was rewarding, it was fun, and, and I have no regrets. <laughs> as a BIM engineer, like how much do you actually make as a BIM engineer, right? For me, I started at $63,000 a year. But you know, a lot of people started at a different rate. I have friends who started at 55, I have friends who started at 60. It really depends on what, what company you go to. You know, like I said, if you're in Arizona or New York, it pays different. Now as a BIM engineer, what does your career progression look like? A lot of times you start off as a BIM engineer, or if you go one step back, you start off as a BIM specialist and or like a BIM modeler, and then you become a BIM engineer, and then you become a BIM manager. And then from BIM manager, you become a director of VDC, which stands for Virtual Design and Construction. All right guys, so my third point is estimating. What an estimator does is to basically calculate how much does it cost to build a building. You have to do an estimate on the earthwork, the concrete, the steel, everything that goes into the building, the interior finishes. As an estimator, you will probably be making around fifty-three dollars to $60,000 a year right out of school. Yes, it does not pay too well at first, but later on, your career trajectory is going to be like this. Because you will start off as a junior estimator and then estimator senior estimator and then director of pre-construction. Your life will not be that difficult as compared to a project engineer or a BIM engineer. And the reason I say that is because you don't really work long hours except for bid day and or the day before bid day, you have to prepare for the bid. An estimator really just look at the plans and do a takeoff and manage relationships with subcontractors. And I would say that it's not as hard as a project engineer who's actually out there in the site doing the real work, you know? Now moving on to our next point, I would say that the fourth career you can take right out of school is scheduling or being a scheduler. Schedulers pay well because there are not many schedulers out there. If you are a scheduler, you're probably being overworked you will have a lot of projects and you have to basically calculate how much time does it take to finish a project from start to finish. So you actually have to work with a lot of subcontractors and ask them for a rough time frame to finish up the pouring of concrete 
or to put up the form work or to put up the rebar and stuff like that and then you would actually put that in a spreadsheet and see okay it takes 528 days to finish this project so uh, as a scheduler you're probably going to make around 60,000 out of school because first of all there's not that many schedulers it's really hard to find a good company who wants to hire you as a scheduler a lot of times these companies would go through referrals so that means like you gotta have a friend who's already working for the company and they could refer you into the company but for someone who is looking at the company from the outside it's really hard to get their foot in the door so I would say that your resume has to stand out so for your resume to stand out you gotta first have a few internships in the resume as well as volunteering like Habitat for Humanity uh, student chapters or like maybe church events. So now moving on, let's talk about the fifth career right out of school is you can be in facilities management. Now what exactly is that, right? Facilities management is all about managing the facility like a property manager. Facilities managers have to make sure that the building is functioning correctly as they should and that there are no hiccups. And if there is a hiccup, it's their job to make sure that it is being rectified as soon as possible so that the residents won't have any interruptions in their day-to-day -day lifestyle. As to how much they make, facilities managers can make around $80,000 a year, but for entry level, I would say 60 would be a fair salary. So the next point is superintendents. This one is actually really common. I feel like if you want to learn construction and like you want to learn how to build stuff, Superintendent is the best way to go about it because you get to be in the job site and see everything from start to finish. You get to see how the concrete is poured, you get to see their methodologies and what goes behind the wall and how long does it take to actually put up a wall, right? Like you see all those details. In terms of salary, superintendents or assistant superintendents actually make around fifty eight to sixty five thousand dollars a year but as a super you make a lot of money like eighty thousand to a hundred and twenty depending on where you're at and how much experience you have on top of that they have a company car and the company also pays for gas so that's like the best deal right my take on superintendents is that you work long hours and sometimes you have to be on the job site at very odd hours. For example, if your subcontractor is going to pour concrete, a lot of times they have to pour it at night, at 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. in the morning. It's not easy, right? But you get paid well. All right, guys, so my next point is going to be real estate agent. A lot of my friends who graduated from school actually became real estate agents because they've always had an interest in real estate and they wanted to get into real estate investing, get into property development, Honestly, I don't know how much they make, but I do know that some of them actually make good money And I think on average people make around, you know, if you're not selling that many houses You make around 40,000 a year, but if you do do really well, you could probably make six figures So it really depends on the market conditions whether the housing market is going well and lastly a bonus career that I wanted to share with you guys is also an engineering role, but there's a story to it, so let me share that with you. Back then in Kutera, there's this friend desk lady who's really nice, super sweet, and she's helping out with all the management stuff. She gets in... Did you guys hear that? There's an ambulance outside. It's so loud. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a bonus career out of school. Alright guys, last but not least, you can be an office engineer. The lady who's super nice, make sure that we have enough water to drain, who make sure that the office is nice and tidy, is actually called an office engineer. Excuse me. So yeah, if you want to be an engineer, the fastest way to be an engineer is to be an office engineer whatever that means. All right guys, I know that was just a joke, but if you have found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel because more videos are coming your way. And of course, if you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up as well. And if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to reach out to me, put it in the comment section below, and I will be sure to reply you. All right, have a good one guys. Take it easy. See you in my next video. Bye.